Imagine a battle between two of the ocean's most fearsome predators, Megalodon and Helicoprion. These prehistoric sharks ruled the seas millions of years ago. Megalodon, the giant of the deep, was a colossal predator. Helicoprion, with its unique spiral jaw, was no less deadly. Both were apex predators of their time. Let's take a closer look at what made these creatures so remarkable. By the end you will have a vivid picture of these prehistoric titans and their reign over the ancient oceans, so let's embark on this journey through time and uncover the mysteries of these legendary creatures. Megalodon, scientifically known as Carcharocles Megalodon, was one of the largest and most powerful predators in vertebrate history. Estimates suggest that this behemoth could reach lengths of up to 60 feet. Its massive jaws were filled with serrated teeth, each about 7 inches long, designed to slice through flesh and bone with ease. This giant shark had a robust, streamlined body perfect for swift movement through water. Paleontologists believe that Megalodon's bite force was one of the strongest of any known animal. The fossil record shows that Megalodon inhabited warm coastal waters around the globe. Its sheer size and strength made Megalodon the top predator of its time. But how did it hunt? We'll explore that in the coming sections. Helicoprion was an equally intriguing predator, though very different from Megalodon. This shark-like fish existed around 290 million years ago, much earlier than Megalodon. It was smaller, reaching lengths of about 13 to 26 feet. However, what made Helicoprion stand out was its bizarre spiral jaw filled with sharp teeth resembling a buzzsaw. Recent studies suggest that the tooth whorl was located in the lower jaw. This unique adaptation allowed Helicoprion to slice through soft-bodied prey with precision. Unlike Megalodon, Helicoprion did not have a robust body. Its specialized jaw gave it an advantage when hunting specific types of prey, such as cephalopods and small fish. Megalodon was a master hunter, employing a combination of brute force and strategic precision. It primarily preyed on large marine mammals such as whales, seals, and dolphins. Its hunting strategy often involved ambushing its prey from below, delivering a powerful bite to incapacitate it. One of the most fascinating aspects of Megalodon's predation is its ability to target specific parts of its prey's body. Fossil evidence suggests that Megalodon often aimed for the chest cavity, where it could cause maximum damage to vital organs. This precision striking ensured a quick kill, allowing the predator to minimize the risk of injury. Megalodon's hunting grounds were typically in shallow coastal waters where large marine mammals congregated. Despite its fearsome reputation, Megalodon faced competition from other large predators. In contrast to Megalodon's brute force, Helicoprion relied on its specialized jaw to capture and consume its prey. The buzzsaw-like tooth whirl allowed for a unique feeding mechanism. When Helicoprion bit down, the teeth would rotate inward, slicing through the soft bodies of its prey with remarkable efficiency. This cutting motion was ideal for hunting cephalopods, which were abundant in its deep water habitat. Helicoprion's diet likely consisted of squid, ammonites and other soft-bodied marine creatures. Its jaw structure was not suited for tackling large, hard-boned prey like those hunted by Megalodon. Instead, Helicoprion's evolutionary adaptations were perfect for a niche diet. Its elongated body and streamlined shape enabled it to glide through the water with ease. Megalodon and Helicoprion occupied very different habitats, each suited to their unique adaptations and hunting strategies. Megalodon thrived in warm, shallow coastal waters where large marine mammals were abundant. These areas provided the perfect hunting grounds with plenty of opportunities for ambush and predation. Megalodon's fossils have been found in various parts of the world, indicating a wide distribution. Helicoprion, on the other hand, preferred deeper waters. Its fossils are often found in regions that were once part of deep marine environments. This habitat choice was likely influenced by its specialized feeding mechanisms and the availability of its preferred prey. Deep waters provided a refuge from larger predators and a steady supply of cephalopods and other soft-bodied creatures. Both Megalodon and Helicoprion had significant impacts on their respective marine ecosystems. As apex predators they played crucial roles in maintaining the balance of their environments. Megalodon with its immense size and predatory prowess, kept populations of large marine mammals in check. 
This regulation of prey species helped maintain the health and stability of the marine ecosystem. Helicoprion's impact, while different, was equally significant. Its specialized feeding habits helped control populations of cephalopods and other soft-bodied creatures. By preying on these species, Helicoprion contributed to the balance of its deep-water habitat. The interactions between these ancient giants and their ecosystems provide valuable insights into the complexity of prehistoric marine life. The reign of Megalodon and Helicoprion eventually came to an end. Megalodon's extinction is believed to have occurred around 2.6 million years ago, likely due to a combination of climatic changes and competition for food resources. The cooling of the oceans and the decline in large marine mammal populations contributed to the challenges faced by this giant predator. As for Helicoprion, its extinction occurred much earlier, around 225 million years ago. The exact reasons are still a subject of research, but it is believed that changes in marine environments and the emergence of new predators played a role. The extinction of these giants marked the end of an era, but their legacy lives on through the fossil record. The study of Megalodon and Helicoprion provides valuable insights into the evolutionary history of marine predators. Though they are long gone, their stories continue to captivate our imaginations and enrich our understanding of Earth's ancient past. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narrations.